after few days. What happened Nancy? Why are you crying? She asked as Nancy was crying in her lap. Nothing auntie, let me cry in your lap please, she said faking her cry. That's what I'm asking, why do you need to cry? Anything happened? Tell me, I will find a solution, she said while cursing her hair. Then she got up from her lap and acted like wiping tears from her dry cheeks where there are no tear drops except her makeup. No auntie, you would not solve it because you love Jungkook. She looked at you confused. What's wrong with it? If I don't love Jungkook, whom would I love? I don't understand what's your problem with it. She asked in a little demanding tone. Actually auntie, Jungkook is not talking with me properly. He found a new friend and avoided me. If I say this, you would not believe, but you know right, we are best friends since childhood. She said, faking her cry, she was completely a drama queen. As she knew his mother would support his love, she thought of finding this way to get him. How can Jungkook do this with you? She said and her tone was saying she was disappointed. What Jungkook did? Jungkook's father, who came from the office, heard his wife and asked while his face was turning serious. Uncle, she quickly ran to him and hugged before starting her emotional fake drama. What happened here? Why are you crying? He was concerned about her as she was crying. Jungkook is not talking to me after finding a new friend. You know, we grew up together since kids but suddenly he is not talking to me and enjoying with his new friend. She smirked as she saw his anger for Jungkook. What? How could he do this? Where is Jungkook? Jungkook, Jungkook. He was calling out his name. He hasn't come from school, honey. He will be coming in 10 minutes. Nancy, you don't worry. I will talk to him. She nodded innocently. Actually, Jungkook's father likes Nancy because she is his best friend's daughter. He treated Jungkook and her equally since their childhood. On the other hand, Van, it's so nice to travel with you alone, he said while holding your hand as he was driving his car with another hand. I also feel the same, Jungkook, you said smiling, holding his hand with your two hands. Actually, Jungkook brought the car today for school as he told you from today he will pick and drop you because he wants some private time with you where there will be only you two without any public eyes. So you guys were traveling while listening to a soothing and romantic music. It was a new experience for you both. Oh wow, it's raining Jungkook. You said excitedly while your face glowing and your eyes shining as you love to dance in the rain. You rolled down the window and put your face up to get dust by the rain. You were enjoying while shaking your head until Jungkook stopped the car aside. Don't you want to meet the rain directly? You pecked his lips in happiness and quickly got off the car while he chuckled before getting out of the car. He quickly got on the footpath while he was standing near the car bonnet. You twirled around your hair and clothes getting soaked. You looked so happy and free moving with the rain as if it was music. He was smiling like crazy as he was so happy to see his girl being the happiest person at this moment. A warm feeling spreading in his chest. She's so beautiful, he thought. The way you moved, the joy on your face, it was mesmerizing. 
He laughed how you could find happiness in the simplest things. Hey Jungkook, let's dance. You laughed and grabbed his hands, pulling him into a dance. He spun you around and you both laughed. The sound of your joy mixing with the sound of the rain. He couldn't stop smiling. He loved you more in that moment than ever before. Dancing in the rain with you felt like a dream. You are amazing. He said, kissing your forehead while you smiled back at him, his eyes shining with love. Later, Jungkook came home after dropping you at your house. His smile faded away and anger plastered on his face as soon as he saw Nancy with his parents. What are you doing here? He asked seriously while she hid behind his father like a scary puppy. Jungkook, what's wrong with your tone? Did you forget she is your friend? Do you behave like this with your friends? He asked, raising his tone while his mother was worried in between. Dad, you don't know what kind of girl she is, let me tell you. He was about to explain but his father stopped him in the middle. I don't want to hear anything. Join her in your group. She is crying so badly for your friendship and you are shouting at her. Don't leave genuine friends for fake friends. Nancy, if he doesn't talk to you, just tell me. I will take care. He said and walked to his room. Chianka, friends? She came to his friend and extended her hand for a handshake. Go to hell. He hid her hand and left his room aggressively where his mother also followed him. I know Jungkook this will happen. Until uncle is here, no one can separate me from you. She smirked and left his house. That night you took a warm shower and sat on the bed while drying your hair until you remembered about Jungkook. What is he doing? Did he take a headbutt or not? You dialed his number but didn't get any reply from him. You called a few more times and still didn't get. What happened to him? Then you texted him like, Jungle call me once, you are free. You texted and went to have dinner as your mother called you. Next day morning, you, Max and Jungkook were in the corridor, so she created this much drama? Jungkook explained everything that happened yesterday night in his house. Man, she's crazy or what? What is this cheap behavior? I'm sorry, Van. In that frustration, I didn't leave the call. It's okay, at least you told goodnight and sleepy. While you guys were talking, Nancy came there and you guys looking at her angrily for what she did yesterday. But something unexpected happened. I'm sorry, Jungkook. Sorry? You thought to yourself while looking at Jungkook who was smirking. Last night. Jungkook, what's going on between Nancy and you? She asked as she followed him to his bedroom. Mom, you trust me? He asked while holding her arms. Of course, Jungkook. If I don't trust you, who would trust you? She said and her words were genuine. As a mother, she would trust her son. Okay, don't ask me anything, Mom. I know what I am doing right now. But trust your son. I am not doing anything wrong. He said, looking in her eyes. Whatever you do, I will be with you, but please take care. She kissed his forehead and left his room after patting his shoulder. Jacob took his phone and opened Nancy's father's contact on WhatsApp. Nancy, I will show you the taste of revenge. If you made me bad near my father, I will show your true self to your father. He sent all the videos he has about she was bullying students. He gathered all his proof knowing one day she would do this kind of nuisance. He sent everything to her father. Nancy, you are out now. He smirked evilly. 
Now you understand about me. Don't ever dare to play with me because I'm a game changer. She held her anger inside as his father warned her strictly. I'm really sorry, Jungkook. I will stop everything here. Can we be friends? I promise no more fightings. You and Max were exchanging gazes while opening your mouth. I don't trust you. Let's go, guys. He smirked and walked away. What is this, Nancy? You told sorry and asking to be friends with them? I don't understand anything. She was completely confused. What do you think? I would accept my defeat easily. No, never. I have a plan. For that, I have to be friends with them. I will not leave you, Jungkook. She smirked and walked away where Tuna also followed her. After two days, you guys were having the first semester exams. You all were writing exams seriously. Then Nancy looked at Tuna and gestured to her to throw a slip near your bench. Tuna showed her thumb and threw it near your bench after checking no one seeing her. And your teacher, who were passing by, saw the slip and looked at you. Wine, what is this? You got up from your bench and was shocked to see a slip in her hand. You started shivering slightly, even though you didn't commit any mistake. Ma'am, I don't know. It's not mine. Then why is this here? How did this come? Is it have any wings? Tears started filling up in your eyes, as you knew they would not believe your words. Ma'am, Vian is not that kind of student. Please believe. Yes, ma'am, she is intelligent and she doesn't need those lips. You guys shut up and write your exam. Friends would support friend. Don't I know that? Why not come with me? You have to meet the principal. She was about to take you to the principal room, but... Ma'am, wait. It's not her slip. Don't punish her. You guys looked at her and was surprised to see her supporting you. How are you so sure about it? My words are not enough. Do you want another proof? She looked at her, poking her cheek. Okay, I'm sorry, Vine. I think I have mistook it. Please sit and write your exam. She apologized and threw the slip in the dustbin. After completion of exam, Nancy, how mom heard you? She didn't trust us, but she trusted you. It means you planned something with her. Look, Jungkook, after getting a strict warning from my father, I would do such things? No way. I knew her secret relationship with Principal. That's why she stopped. I changed Jungkook. That's why I said Vian, because she is innocent. Again, she faked her innocent expressions. Thank you so much, Nancy. If you have not saved me, my career would have been ruined. Thank you so much for your help. You showed your gratitude for her help. So can we be friends? She extended her hand. Sure. You shook your hand with her while Jungkook was suspicious about Nancy. Wine, let's go. I will drop you at home. You smiled at Nancy and followed Jungkook towards the parking lot. What's your next plan? Her. She looked evilly while Juna scared. Jungkook, don't you trust Nancy now? He asked as he was silent since the ride has started. No, Wine, I don't think so. I have been seeing her since childhood. She's not someone who would change so easily. He nodded silently as he don't know what to say. Anyways, be careful with her. She is dangerous, he said, squeezing your hand gently. Your exams were going on. Nancy started behaving friendly with you all. You and Max felt good, but Jungkook was not ready to trust or forgive her, so he is maintaining distance from her. One day, just came out of the restroom and was walking in the corridor until Jungkook dragged you to the corner. Jungkook, what are you doing? Shh, stay quiet. 
I want to have some privacy with you, princess. You roll your eyes. Privacy? Yeah, I'm so stressed with these exams. How about you revealing my stress? You shine with hope. Yeah, you are getting too much naughty day by day. Just move. I have to prepare for test. You were about to leave, but he grabbed you back and again pulled you to the wall. There were no students around as they were busy in preparing for exams. Just one hug. I will not ask more. He started acting like a chill as he knew he would melt. I go. You are behaving like a cat. Come. You spread your arms as he smiled and hugged you. You guys were in each other's arms until Max called Jungkook. He always disturbs us. You chuckle. Exams were over and you and Jungkook were talking so happily after so many days. All these days you guys discussed about exams but now got free time. How about we go to a cafe? Exams are over and we are free, right? Yes, nice idea. Let's go then. Yeah, let's go. You both got up from your bench. Jungkook, you go. I will use the washroom and come. Okay, my love. He said, pinching your cheek and went downstairs to go to the parking lot. After a while, you used the washroom and was walking in the corridor until you see Nancy carrying a pile of books. Nancy, where are you going? Oh, Wyan, our teacher told me to put these books in the storeroom but I have to use the washroom urgently, she said, crossing her legs. Oh no, okay, keep those books to me, I will keep them in the storeroom. You go to the washroom. She quickly put the books in your hand and rushed to the washroom. Crazy girl, you shook your head in disbelief and went to the storeroom. As soon as you entered inside, shivers ran down your spine. You never dared to go to a dark room alone, but now you got trapped here unknowingly. You slowly walked towards the rack and put the books there. Oof, I can leave now. You hurriedly went near the storeroom entrance, but you were shocked to see the door was locked from outside. Is this locked? Anyone there? Nancy, please help me. You started shouting for help while banging the door but no one was coming as students left the school because school hours were completed. You started shivering and also started sweating so badly. Your heart was racing so fast that you even feel trouble to take breath as you are afraid of the dark room. Jungkook was waiting in the parking lot leaning against his car and looking at his watch. You had said you needed to use the washroom, but it had been a while and he was started to get worried. He decided to go check on you. Jungkook walked quickly to the washroom, but when he got there, he saw no sign of you. He asked a girl who was just coming out, Hey, did you see my girlfriend in there? The girl shook her head. No, it's just me in there, she said. Jungkook's heart started to race. He searched the school, calling your name, but there was no answer. Panic began to rise inside him. Where could you be? As he was passing the storeroom, he thought he heard a faint sound. He stopped and listened carefully. Help! He heard a weak voice and it was you. Jungkook's heart pounded as he realized you were inside the storeroom. Vyan, are you there? He shouted, his voice full of worry. Jungkook, you managed to whisper before fainting from fear and exhaustion. He didn't waste a second. He looked around for something to break the door, finding a nearby he smashed the lock as he had as he could. The door finally gave away and he rushed inside. While he found you lying on the floor unconscious, 
His face was full of concern as he gently picked you up in his arms. Wine, open your eyes, I have got you, he whispered, his voice trembling with worry. He carried you quickly to the medical room. The school nurse saw him coming and rushed to help. What happened? she asked, guiding him to a bed. I found her locked in the storeroom. She fainted. He said his voice was shaky. The nurse checked your pulse and began to treat. He sat by your side, holding your hand tightly. Please wake up, he whispered. His eyes filled with tears. After a while, you started to wake up. Your eyes fluttered open and you saw Jungkook's worried face. Jungkook, you said vaguely. He let out a sigh of relief and smiled softly. You're okay. I'm here. I was so scared. He said gently, stroking your hair. You squeezed his ha hand weakly. I was so afraid in the dark. You said your voice trembling. It's okay. I'm here now. But how did you end up there? You went for a washroom, but how did you end up in storeroom? Nancy... You explained everything to him and he understood that she did this. His veins were popping out as he was so angry on her for doing this to you. Wine, let's go. I will drop you off at home. He picked you up in his arms and took to his car. Nancy, after dropping you at home, he directly came to Nancy's house furiously. By seeing him, she started shivering and also felt disappointed as you were alive. What happened, Jungkook? He looked at her angrily and explained everything to her father. Her father looked at her more frustratingly than Jungkook. How could you do this? Such a shame on you. That let me explain. I'm sorry. I didn't do anything wrong. It was not me. Don't lie, Nancy. Isn't it your bracelet? He showed the bracelet as she lost near the storeroom while locking it. What would you say now? Even after warning you, you're still playing with people's lives? You need a big punishment. Come with me. He grabbed her hand and dragged her towards the storeroom. Dad, please leave me. I will not repeat it. I'm sorry. She was begging him but he was not ready to hear. No, you deserve this. Jungkook, I'm sorry. Please take care of that girl. Jungkook nodded and left while Nancy was crying so badly. Now she must be feeling your pain. Thank you for watching.